This is a quick one on how to monetize Beehive or any newsletter for that matter, but we're going to be mentioning a bunch of features from Beehive. So this is most useful if you're using Beehive as a platform. If you're using Kit, which is the biggest other competitor to Beehive, uh, you will have most of the same features with different names. You'll figure out the buttons yourself, but the main idea is exactly the same. I'm Jordan Parker. I help creators build funnels. I help creators build businesses and I help creators make money. That's the goal of this channel. That's the goal of my business. And I've done that for this past year. And before that, I was an engineer and I was building IT companies. So first of all, how to monetize Beehive. Option number one, you can sell CPM ads. And this comes from a Reddit answer that I wrote earlier today. And I just decided to make a video because not all, any, everyone is going to find the random Reddit answer somewhere. So uh, number one, option number one is you can sell ads on Beehive and you have two types of ads. You have CPC ads and CPM ads. This is very typical in ads, you know, terminology, but uh, the general idea of those is exactly the same everywhere, including on Beehive. CPC ads means cost per click. That means that you're going to get paid based on how many clicks you can get generate for that ad. So uh, in this uh, specific case, Roku wanted to advertise in my newsletter. I'm using screenshots for some of the Beehive stuff because I don't want to reveal client information that would be not perfect. And there's a bunch of personal data with emails and, every, and everything. So for example, this is from Roku. They wanted to sponsor me uh, or to run ads on my channel. They want to run ads on every single person on Beehive that, that they want to advertise everywhere. But they give you a bunch of creatives. You can inject those in your emails and then they pay you and you pick how do you want them to pay you they can pay you per click so every time somebody clicks on their ad you can get two bucks or you can get uh 250 for a thousand people who open your emails click tracking is generally way better uh in pretty much every newsletter i've run uh getting people like writing an email with the purpose of people clicking the link and getting people to, to click the link will get you one to two percent click rates one to two percent click rates usually result in more cash compared to uh, whatever you're going to get from CPMs in pretty much any newsletter you can imagine because you need a thousand opens if you get, um, you know, one, one of them to click the link, you're already making mostly the same cash. You need one and a fourth people to, to click the link to make the same money from clicks. So use click ads, but you have both options. If no one clicks your newsletters, then maybe the CPM is a better option. Uh, it's there if you need it, but in general, you know, CPC is better. Write an email that sells the ad and, you know, people will click the ad more. And you can get decent money. Like you can get to a few hundred bucks per cent if you use those. Uh, like if you have 1% click rate and you have a thousand, a thousand, so you have a thousand subs times 1% uh, click rate. And then uh, we have 40% open rate. So that would be uh, like four clicks in total. So for a thousand subs per cent, you're going to make like eight bucks, which isn't insane. But if you have you know, 10,000 subs, that that becomes 80. If you, if you have 50,000, uh, that becomes uh, 400 and so on and so forth. Mental math is hard, I know I'm forcing myself to do it in, in those videos. Anyway, you get the idea. And uh, this can be a very nice uh, source of extra revenue. I would use this uh, if you have you know, a huge open rate, if you're sending weekly, for example, uh, you get high open rates, you get high click rates, you can get some decent cash from this. And it's not really a lot of extra effort, so it's just a bonus, whatever you make. So that's nice. Uh, um, so I gave two examples here. So, so with a 30K newsletter, you'd, you'd make about 50 bucks from one email blast. And with a 30K newsletter, you'll get about 200 from, uh, from clicks. So clicks are generally better, but it depends. Like it depends on context, depends on how good you are on getting people to click and so on. But very, very easy to test. So just run, run a couple of ads and see. Um, not every ad, uh, not every newsletter has an ad network, but you can find ad companies that can work with any newsletter, even if you're not using Beehive. Next, paid subscriptions through Beehive specifically. Uh, Beehive has this thing called Boosts. Uh, I'll screenshot it here. Uh, it's called paid subscription tiers and you can create as many tiers as you want. I think they were limited to three and then five and I think they're unlimited now. 
whatever the case, you can create premium tiers of your subscription. Uh, this In this specific example, we have a premium tier of 97 bucks a month and 970 per year. This is uh, pricey, like not every newsletter can pull that off. So a lot of the newsletters will struggle, but you can uh, you can very much go get away with 10 bucks per month or, or 50 bucks per month even. With many newsletters, you can see uh, people on Substack doing this. Substack has this feature built in as well, and this is how they monetize. So if you just want to sell premium tiers, you can run through Substack, and Substack will not charge you any monthly fee. They'll just get a percentage of that, which is very expensive later on but early on when you're starting out it's perfect because you don't you're not paying any money off pocket you can just use the platform for free uh those pay tiers can be very uh, alluring of course because you're getting monthly you know payments very stable very nice but of of course you have to get people to stay to like to stick in them like they need to have a reason to actually pay you every month and not just once so to make sure that this happens, you have to offer something of value every month. You have, you have to have you know, premium emails, you have to have mini courses, you have to give them some access to something that they want. Otherwise, you're not going to see a lot of success with that. But it's there and it can be very, very, very nice as a business model. And it's very stable, unlike most other business models. Uh, like most monetization methods, you can make a uh, send a newsletter, you can get very low opens, you can get listed as spam, and suddenly you don't get any, you know, you don't get any ad sales. But here, you you know, even if one of your uh, newsletters gets goes to spam, you still you still make your money, which is nice. Uh, so next we have boosts. Boosts are very very similar to ads. In fact, they are ads. They're just advertising other newsletters. This is a screenshot of the boost. Uh, marketplace you can see a lot of ai and crypto stuff as everywhere but basically uh, people pay you money for every subscriber you send to their newsletter so if you find a newsletter that your audience might like you can just advertise that newsletter well, it works exactly the same way as ads and you get paid for every person who subscribes to that newsletter um that's the that's the general premise it is a fine thing it, it's okay i have i used the boosts uh, for my own newsletter for growth some varying results there. So there was a, a lot of spammy, uh, like people who were exploiting the system and sending me spam emails. They're obviously not, not being used, but this can be a nice way to make a little bit of extra cash. And uh, if you've picked the newsletter as well, you can partner with them long-term. Let's say you send, <clears throat> you partner with the newsletter and you send the new subs, you know, every week, every month, whatever. And, you can, and every time you send an email, you get a bunch of extra change from, from the people who subscribe to theirs. Uh, once you get to some uh, you know higher numbers with your newsletter, this can be a meaningful amount of money, which can be great. Uh, next, we have uh, access. We can sell access, and uh, you can see people calling access many different things. You can see people calling access uh, coaching, consulting, mentoring, whatever. I just call it access because it's people getting access to you. They can talk to you. They can ask you questions. They can do some activity with you, whatever that is. Uh, we've seen we've seen a lot of examples. Now, selling access is fantastic. It's great because you don't need much to create that. You don't need to create a super fancy system. You don't need to create super many sales pages. You just need a scheduling link and you know something to get money from. My favorite way of doing this is Cow Cow dot com. I'm not affiliated with them. I should be. I mention them all the time, but they haven't called me yet. I have, I have no idea why, but they will soon. They will give me half of the company, probably. They should. I'm amazing. Uh, anyway, Cow is a, is a great place. Uh, it's like Calendly, but better. Uh, I, one, I like the team way better. Two, they're open source, so you can host them yourself, which is something that I appreciate, because uh, the open source community is a very nice community of engineers. Uh, and three, they have a lot of features, and it's very free, and they had a killer call to action in, in their buttons, so their marketing is cool. So very cool company. I like the company. Anyway, I, I like companies. I, I'm, I, I really like businesses and companies and thinking and talking about businesses. Anyway, as you can see here, they have an integration with Stripe. Stripe is a payment processor. This is how you get money from people. You'll need it if, even if you want to monetize through Beehive. So you have to manage their fantastically fun interface. It's very, very fun to learn. Um, but anyhow, you, you can integrate Stripe and you can, uh, you can slap a price tag on any sort of meeting with you. So you send people, they pick a slot from a calendar that you adjust yourself, and then they have to pay a bunch of money so they can talk to you. And you can put whatever topic you want, whatever label you want. It can be coaching, mentoring, whatever you want. It can be let's uh, play a song together or whatever. It doesn't matter. You can, you can charge money for time spent with you. Direct access to you, your calendar, you know, very cool. Very, very, very cool to 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 achieve that. There's a lot of others you can use whatever you want. 
So yeah. Next, uh, this is this is by one of the quickest things you can set up as an as a as an early stage business as an early stage uh, a stage of monetization as a creator. Absolutely amazing. It's highly highly recommended. One to one access is underrated in my opinion. And a lot of people who, who buy one session we want to buy more than one session and can get a lot of recurring income from just that. I've seen people scale to 15, 20k a month by just selling direct access and spending, I don't know, two, three hours per, per day, you know, talking to awesome people. So that can be, that can work really well. And it works for introverts as well. Uh, I know I, I, have, I have some people that are very introverted that I work with. Uh, so yeah, next uh, we have we can sell products, direct sales of products, info products, uh, courses, tutorials, checklists, whatever you can imagine. You can sell those. Uh, you can uh, charge a little bit of money for them. So I say cheap info products because they're generally easier to sell. People buy them on a whim, uh, and you can you can make you know some spare change by you know every time you mention the product in email you can you can make a sale or you can make a couple of sales or if you have a lot of you can make a lot of sales depending on what your lists are how how good are your emails and all that jazz. But basically, if you uh, for this. Uh, person that I was writing this for, uh, they were getting 20 daily new subs. If 2% of, of them buy the product, that would net them about 25 bucks per day, 2680 if we're being accurate. But that's not bad money for, you know, just having something to exist. You know, you can spend a couple of uh, days, weeks, whatever, making this product and suddenly you're making 25 bucks a day. Not bad, you know, for not doing anything. And you can make more money from the, the same people who purchased and sell them, you know, this access and all that jazz. So yeah, uh, next, we have more expensive pros. Same idea as the cheaper product, but it can be more expensive. The price range isn't actually limited. So I can tell you, you know, an expensive product is a product that is over $100. That doesn't really make sense. It depends on what kind of industry you're in. In some industries, 300 bucks is exceptionally expensive. Try selling 300, like something for 300 bucks, like a course for 300 bucks to gamers. You have a very hard time doing so. It is possible, but it's not going to be easy. But try selling a 300 bucks course for copywriters and you have a much easier time because copywriters are used to paying egregious amounts of money for courses because the industry wore their minds and made them uh, great targets for that. Uh, for those, you would need a, a website, a sales page, and all that. This is uh, from a client that I have, and he sells uh, he sells a, a writing course for writers, not copywriters. There is a difference. Um, and you need a sales page. You need to configure Stripe. You need your own website. You need a bunch of things. Probably the fastest way to start with that is Thrivecart. I can't seriously recommend them too much because I found like 17,000 bucks with the software and helped a bunch of people migrate away from it. But a lot of people start with that. If you just want a very cheap, very, very cheap way to do so, there is this website called Cart. It is it is free and it is, uh, uh, or dirt cheap. Let's see, Cart pricing. Let's find that. GoPro, amazing. And uh, you can see the price for Cart is, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. So you have nine bucks a year. 19 bucks a year or, or the, the highest plan is 49 bucks a year. This is stupidly cheap, by the way. Compared to any website hosting, you would be paying that amount of money per month, not per year, and you'll get mostly the same stuff. So that's cool. A uh, card is great. It's not as customizable as it wanted, but for to start with, having a card page, sending people to Stripe, you know, to just check out, perfect. You know, you know, very, very cheap and easy way to do it. You would obviously need a sales page and to learn a bunch of stuff about copywriting or hire someone to do it for you. It's not as trivial, but it can lead to long-term, you know, mostly automated sales. Not absolutely automated. It's not as passive as people think, but if you write good emails and at least that is, you know, a given in your in your workflow and you send them at least once, probably better if it's a couple of times per week, then you can make good money with, uh, you know, selling more expensive products as well and whatever info products you want to sell. But keep in mind, you need volume. If we're talking about 20 new daily subs, which is, by the way, pretty damn high. Most newsletters that I've seen do not get 20 new daily subs. They should. You can run ads. You can you can get subs in many ways. You don't only need to wait on social media. But if you're getting 20 new subs a day, you uh, and you're selling uh, 400 bucks, something that's for 400 bucks. If you haven't done this before, you would expect something like less than half of a percent conversions. I used 0.3 percent here. You'd be making like 24 bucks a day, which isn't bad, but it's not you know amazing money. If but 20 bucks a day passively, 24 bucks is still 
20 new subs to make 24 bucks is great like it this is passive like we're talking you're doing your stuff on uh like mostly passive you're doing your stuff on instagram you're doing your stuff on twitter on linkedin whatever or youtube youtube is the best and you're getting you know money from just making your content you're getting paid for your content and you're getting paid from your own system for your content and not from you know uh some ads that the network runs i can bet uh, like you can make a youtube video that gets you 20 uh, new subs a day and i can bet a lot of stuff that this youtube video is not going to make you 24 bucks a day from from the same amount of people like you you make less money from just ads and this thing is just step one you can continue selling more stuff now where this becomes powerful, because this is just the different tools you can use. Where this becomes powerful is one, you can combine all of those. This is exceptionally powerful. You can use like seven of those methods at the same time. Obviously, you have to add some general thinking to it, because if you give people a list of buttons to click, they will not click every single button just to make you money. They're like they have other stuff to do, obviously. But if you're smart about it, you can benefit from two or three of those methods at the same time, pretty much always, which can be fantastic. You can make a cheap thing and then upsell the higher thing. You can have, you can, you can run ads and then sell a higher, higher ticket thing that people just rarely buy. You have a lot of options. You can sell the higher ticket thing and then sell coaching or mentoring or whatever sort of, you know, one-to-one -one access you want. So there is a lot of options here and uh, a lot of them can make you progressively more money because... People who pay will continue paying in general. And what that means, if your stuff is good, <laughs> and what that means for you is that as you start selling, you can sell to your clients even more stuff. And that can make you a lot of more money. A lot more money. Cool. Next. Uh, some of those things can be very recurring. If you're selling a subscription, if you're selling something monthly, if you're selling, if you're running through different ads, this can be way more recurring and way easier to maintain compared to having products because products are not really recurring. Yes, you can sell a community as a product. That's that's fine. Like you create this, but you have to maintain it. Uh, but in general, most of the time, if you're selling products, they, people buy them once and they, they don't buy them again because they don't need information twice. Like the same information twice useless. It doesn't work. So uh, with some of those models, you have more compounding going on. So every every new customer adds more to your recurring budget. This can be very powerful. This is something that you have to think about while designing your business model. Next, uh, we have funnels. Funnels are journeys that people take. So people start somewhere on social media and they end up being a client to you and paying you hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars or tens of thousands or millions, bazillions of dollars. However much you can, you can like depends on what you're helping them with. If you can cure all sickness and make them immortal, they'll pay you a lot of money. Anyway, the point is we want to create this journey for them. If you think about their entire journey, if, if you think about step one to step the last step or, or the second to last because they never quite end then in, and create a com compelling and interesting journey that people want to go through and it's not just about you pushing your stuff to them and just asking them to buy, 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 then you can create, you can create those uh, sequences of sales in which people can spend significantly more money and that, that can be wildly more profitable compared to just selling something once. So yeah, uh, finally we had an extra question here which is uh, how long do you get ads? Like in general on Beehive you probably wait like a couple of weeks to get ads but keep in mind this is the platform serving ads for you. You can email people and ask them to advertise in your newsletter. You don't need to wait for a platform. If you want to run ads, ask someone you know who has a newsletter. Say, hey man, hey hey girl, hey other gender that you prefer. Uh, I have this newsletter, I have that many subs, I have that many clicks, I have had that many opens. Come, give me some cash and I'll let you show it, show your audience, like write something to my audience so they become your audience. And you know, you get some money, they get some people, everyone is having fun, or you can do that for products and so on and so forth. This is, by the way, this is not an exhaustive list. We have affiliate marketing, we have YouTube ads, we have so many other ways to monetize. But the, those are the main ways I have seen people use on, on Beehive and uh, the ways that I would generally recommend. Like, uh, for example, affiliate marketing can feel a little bit sleazy nowadays. So unless it's a friend of yours, don't, don't just go and cl click farms and click whatever the site was named and 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 just advertise a random thing advertise stuff that that is worth advertising on your newsletter because otherwise you burn your reputation your brand is destroyed and no one wants to talk to you anymore and you're the lonely kid at school also a broke kid at school which is not fun anyway 
you get the general idea. Hopefully that's helpful and uh, go make some money. And if you need help, you know, send me a message, send me an email. Uh, hey, Jordan Parker on all platforms. Um, cool. Stay awesome.